one of the guys in the PMC, Cycle Ben, was good enough to show me this post by a trans man called Cold Wheels. <clears throat> and I'm glad he did, because I want to keep put, pointing this out. When women transition into men, they find out just how hard it is to be a man. I'm starting to regret transitioning. Yes, I suspect almost all trans men do. I like being a man, but I can't take the heightism from society. Yeah, this is it. Trans men like being a man, but it's society's treatment of men that they can't withstand. Now he says, I'm five foot three. Oh, by the way, cold wheels. If it wasn't your height, it'd be something else. Society does not like men. <laughs> so your particular, you know, thing aspect that they pick on happens to be your height. I'm 5'3", female to male, transgender man. I was happy when I transitioned. Yes, <laughs> you were. I liked myself, having male chest after breast surgery, being able to grow a beard. But I never knew how bad heightism was in this society, in any society, cold wheels. And of course, you never knew. Because you know, guys, again, I'll point this out again. You know how when women attack men, they say, have you ever spoken to a woman? Well, women live with 50% of the population as men, and they have no idea what we go through until they go through it. When I lived my life as a woman, I wasn't really aware of heightism men face, to be honest. And this shows you how bad it is, because if when if this person was a woman and you went up and asked her, hey, um, do you like that short guy? She'd probably say no. So it also shows you that women, you know, not only don't like, like men, but they, they're unaware of their own bias. Well, as a woman, I felt comfortable, uncomfortable in my own body. Now that I've transitioned, it's society who makes me feel uncomfortable by my body. Yes, this is what men face. This is where the lack of confidence comes from. Men are happy with themselves, but society hates us. Sure, now they see a man, but in their minds, they see a man who's not a real man. From feeling powerless and smaller compared to other uh, of my gender, to some people wanting to treat me as a punching bag of a friend group. That's right. So this person gets in with friends, and even their friends like to jump on you. That's right. This is what it is to be a man. Men and women don't like men. So if you're the low man on the totem pole, you're the punching bag. People who barely just met me uh, will make rude comments or jokes about my size. I know if I respond with a similar comment about their height, which I would never do anyway because I don't like body shaming of any kind, I know I would be considered an asshole. But yet it's okay for me to make fun of men's heights. Yeah, because... The overweight thing is a woman's problem. So this has nothing to do with being an asshole. It's just who's being attacked. If you if woman is a butt of the joke, then you're being an asshole and rude. If a guy is, well, it, it's a okay. And this cold wheels is what it means to be a man. And by the way, if you look, let me show you something. This is people wishing men to be drafted. Let me get it a little larger. And draft, let's see, there's, let's see, mommy, there's a couple about height here. Here we go. I say draft all the short guys first into World War III. World War III happening, they got to draft men under six feet first. Those are pictures of guys. If, well, and that basically he's asking uh, all, all most men to get drafted then because the majority of men are still under six feet. They averaged probably like 5'8", or I should say 5'10", or something like that. So <laughs> I think there's one where they even point out 6'1". Yeah, this one. Hopefully, we draft all men under 6'1". So, I mean, people don't like men, and they just look for any excuse to get rid of them. <laughs> I, I say draft the mommy men first. So everything is about men uh, not being able to serve women. That's what it is. That's what it's about. 
just draft any man who can't perform for women. And now, dating was going to be hard for me anyway, since I'm a man with no penis. I don't know if that is even a bother because women don't even have sex with men half the time. They date men to use men. So if you've got a big wallet, that's what they care about. When I used to be a lesbian, I had more dating options. That's right. That's right, everyone. Lesbians have no issues. <laughs> That's why they don't belong in the gay community. There's never, they don't have a bad life. Women have great lives. But now that I'm a guy, plenty of women will reject me just for my height before I even get a chance to tell them I'm, that I'm trans. Cold wheels, why would you tell them that they're trans? I thought you were a man. Like, no offense, but a lot of these trans people uh, destroy their own narratives. They say, you know, I, I am a man, I am a woman, right? But as soon as the, they deal with the heat of their gender, then they say, no, I'm not that particular gender, I'm trans. I'm sorry, Cold Wheels, you can't have it both ways. You shouldn't be trying to hide behind this label. You want to be a guy, this is what it is to be a guy. The worst, she says past, but he think it means part, is that height body shaming or the hurdles I have to face for my height just simply isn't taken as seriously. Well, it isn't because men aren't taken seriously. So uh, it feels I'm battling something all alone. Of course you're battling all alone. Both men and women don't like men. So if a woman takes a jab at you, all the men in the group jab along with her to signal to her that they're above you. Also, some people don't have sympathy for my issue until they find out I'm transgender. But at that point, it's not true sympathy yet. Well, it never was. They are just fake virtue signaling to seem woke. Well, yeah. They tell us to be more confident, but there are some people who hate ugly or short people with confidence for whatever reason. Well, what do you mean for whatever reason? People just don't like short and, uh, and ugly guys. They hate you because you're a guy. That's the reason. <laughs> and again, this shows you that, you know, like the pickup artists have the cart before the horse. People don't like you because you're confident. You're confident because people like you. So as a woman, you were confident. And now as a man, your confidence is being destroyed. They see it as a person who doesn't know their rightful place. Yes, I've been saying this forever. And this guy is finding out the hard way. Men, women see men as beneath them. And any guy who shows confidence is uppity and doesn't know his place. As a matter of fact, an example I'll give you is I became friends with a girl through one of my gay friends. And today she knows I'm transgender, but not at that time. She was telling me about the time she met me for the first time. And she didn't know I was transgender at that time. First time she met me was the time I completed my transition to being passable. And when she felt my most confident. First of all, I never acted cocky or rude. I was just confident and happy with myself. Exactly. And people don't like that. You've, cold wheels, you've joined the second class citizenry. And people don't like us being uppity. Your joy and confidence was being seen as uppity. She admitted to me that the first time she met me, she was actually annoyed at me because she thought I was being too confident for my size. Like I wasn't tall enough to act as confident as I was. And she thought I had a Napoleon complex, but she says I felt bad when she found out I was transgender because now she realizes that I wasn't trying to be overcompensate for being short. And I was trying to be confident for dealing with life as a transgender. Well, either way, she saw you as overcompensating because you were a man. You weren't confident because you were a good person and you liked yourself. And everyone, again, this is not a turf talking to them. This is Jane Doe. This is the average woman on the street. The average woman on the street sees men as beneath her. And if he shows any joy or, or, or confidence, she sees it as cocky or rude. He doesn't know his place. It's rude for this guy 
to show confidence to her. When men show up to her, they're supposed to be, um, they're supposed to know their place and, and, and be humble, to humble themselves before her. And so cold wheels, why do you want to be friends with this person? For one thing, you can't be. Only peers can be friends. And she doesn't see you as a peer. She sees you as at best a pet or some guy to use. Maybe she can complain to you about what her girlfriend said, but she does not see you as her equal. And she has shown herself to feel that way. And so I'm going to end it saying it the same thing I've said in these other videos of mine, that this guy is in for hell. Because these women who transition to men, they have no understanding of what it is to be a man. They have no idea that being a man is all negatives. And she's in for a very harsh future as a man. And she finds out the hard way that people don't like men. And they use any reason they can to stomp on men. You see, as he said, you know, he felt confident when he transitioned because he felt more like himself. But society hates him. So that confidence is going to go away. He's going to become destroyed. Anyway, I'm, I'm glad I'm not this guy, Cold Wheels. Uh, uh, I don't know how to end this other than say, trans men are in for a rude awakening. Goodbye, everyone.